Hello everyone, it's Miss Kelly here, and I'm here with a fun math activity for us to do today, and this activity is all about shapes. Um, so let's do a quick review of our shapes, and then we'll get into the little game that we have, okay? So this worksheet is attached in your lessons if you want it, and I'm going to use it to review some of our shapes really quick, and then we'll get into the activity. So up top right here, this is a shape that has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And a shape that has six sides is called a, I'll give you a minute if you know, it's called a hexagon. Very good. This is a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. Over here we have a rectangle. And a rectangle has one, two, three, four four sides, just like a square, but two of the sides are longer than the other. So see how this, these sides are longer than those? So that makes it a rectangle. Over here, what do we have? We have a diamond. I bet you guys all knew that one. Uh, right here, we have a shape that has, let's count the sides together. One, two, three, four, five, sides. And a shape that has five sides is called a pentagon. Can you all say pentagon? Very good. All right, right here in the middle of the paper, we have a one, two, three-sided shape, and it is a triangle. Very good. Triangle. Over here, we have a shape that has one, two, three, four sides, and they're all the same, none are longer than the others, and that is a square. Very good. Over here, we have a shape that looks kind of like an egg. What could this be? If you said oval, you're right. Right here, we have a shape, ooh, this is a lot of sides, count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight sides and it kind of looks like a stop sign. Hmm. That is called an octagon. Can you say octagon? Very good. This is good review for us, right? Right over here. I think you all know what this is. This is a heart. On the bottom, we have a shape that is perfectly round. Kind of looks like a ball, kind of looks like a plate. It is a circle, very good. And over here we have a star, awesome. So there's a little shape review. So what we're gonna do today is, if you have this paper printed out, you're gonna follow along with me. If you do not have this paper printed out, what you're gonna do is ask your mom and dad to quickly draw these shapes on a piece of paper for you. So you have them all, and they're all kind of mixed up, right? They're in no particular order. What Miss Kelly is gonna do is, since we are celebrating Earth Day this week, I have all of those, all of these shapes on special Earth cards. So you're gonna tell me when I hold up the card what shape the Earth is, and then you're gonna find that shape on your paper and color it in. Okay, so I'll show you how this works. So I have a marker here with me. You can use any color that you'd like. You can use crayon, marker, colored pencil, whatever you have. And I'm gonna watch. And the first, I'm gonna hold up a shape. And let me see, what shape is this earth? This earth is a star, very good. So then I would look for the star on my paper. <gasps> I found it, it's right here. I'm gonna color it in, and I'm gonna do my best to stay inside the lines, because I'm working on following the lines and having control of my marker. And then I have my colored in star, and it shows that I found my star. And let's see if it matches up. Sure does, same shape. So we have our Earth star, and now I have my star on my paper all colored in. All right, are you guys ready to begin? Get your thinking caps on. 
get your eyes ready to identify some shapes, and get a crayon or marker ready to go. All right, here is the first shape. Go ahead and tell me what this is, and then look for it on your paper and color it in. And if you need more time to color, go ahead and pause the video. And I'm going to tell you what shape this is. If you said heart, you are correct. We have our earth heart. Awesome. All right. Next shape. Here we go. What shape is this earth? If you said triangle, you are correct. Go ahead and find your triangle on your paper and color it in. And remember, if you need a few more minutes, you can pause the video. All right, time for our next earth shape. What is the shape? of this earth. Hmm, what shape is that? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four sides and they're all the same. None are longer than the other. All right, go ahead and tell me what it is. If you said square, you are correct. This is a square. Go ahead and find your square on your page and color it in. Great job. All right, pause if you need some coloring time. And let's do our next earth shape. Here we go. All right. What shape is this earth? All right, let's see. Hmm. Let's count the sides together. That's always super, super helpful when trying to identify shapes. So let's count together. We'll start at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides on this shape. What shape has eight sides? I'll give you a second to think. All right, if you said octagon, you are correct. This is an octagon. Go ahead and find your octagon on your paper and color it in. Great job. Go ahead and pause if you need more coloring time. All right, our next shape. Here we go. What shape is this earth? Hmm, what could this be? I think you guys all know what it is. Let's see. I'll count to three and then I'll let you know. One, two, three. It's a diamond. If you said diamond or rhombus, you are correct. This is also called a rhombus. So go ahead and find your diamond or rhombus on your paper and color it in. Nice job. Go ahead and pause if you need more coloring time. Alrighty. Let's see our next shape. What shape is this earth? Hmm. Kind of looks like an egg shape. Kind of like a long circle. It's not a circle though. What is this? One, two, three. If you said oval, you are correct. This is an oval. Great job. Go ahead and find your oval on your paper and color it in. And pause if you need some coloring time. What shape is this earth? Hmm, what shape is this earth? Let's see here. Let's count the sides together. That always helps me figure it out. We'll start up at the top again. One, two, three, four, five, six sides on this shape. Do you remember what shape has six sides? If you said hexagon, you are correct. This is a hexagon and it has six sides. Very good. So go ahead and find your hexagon on your paper and color it in. And if you aren't sure which one is a hexagon, count the sides. If it has six, it's a hexagon. All right, our next shape. 
What shape is this earth? Hmm. Let's see. What shape is this earth? Let's count the sides together. We have one, two, three, four sides like a square, but I'm noticing this side and this side are longer than these sides. Hmm, so it's not a square. Let's see, do you know what it is? If you said rectangle, you are correct. This is a rectangle. Go ahead and find it on your paper and color it in. Great job. Pause if you need some more coloring time. All right, our next shape. What shape is this earth? Let's see. What shape is this earth? Hmm. If you were paying attention during my example, this should be helpful, or you should know what this is. Hmm. If you said star, you are correct. Go ahead and color in your star on your paper. Great job. All right, we only have two more shapes. Whew, you guys are doing an excellent job. All right, what shape is this earth? Hmm, all right, let's use our, let's use our trick of counting the sides to see if we can figure it out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five five sides on this shape. And a shape with five sides is called a pentagon. Awesome. Can you guys say pentagon? Very good. Go ahead and find your pentagon on your paper and color it in. Awesome. Awesome. All right. We have one shape left. Here we go. What shape is this earth? Oh, it looks like the real earth. What shape is this everyone? One, two, three. It's a circle, excellent job. Go ahead and find your circle on your paper and color it in. Awesome, awesome job. You guys were able to identify all these different shapes. I'm so proud of you, great job. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed our math activity today. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon.